Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you uh, the Project Explorer and exactly what that is. Um, if you're new to VBA this is a good introduction because you're going to be in the environment a lot and you're going to use the Project Explorer frequently. So um, before we get to that I want to show you how do you get to the environment. How do you get to the environment where you could write macros? Well one thing you could do is press Alt F11 um, and I could do that right now so if I press Alt F11 I have the Visual Basic environment. It pops up here. Oh, that's what this screen is. Um, but a better way to do that is to put the developer toolbar, de de developer tab on your toolbar. And how you do that is uh, you click the Microsoft circle at, in the upper left, and then you go to Excel Options, and then go to Popular here and click on this show developer tab in the ribbon and when you click OK you're gonna see that now you have a developer tab here and if I click on it I have all these options that are related to VBA so when you're writing in VBA you want to know about this and you want to have this available so make sure you have that on your uh, toolbar and then all you need to do is go to the tab and to get to the environment you click this visual basic and you see like I said uh, that little pop-up it says Alt F11. You could either press Alt F11 or click this uh, icon here, either one. So I'm going to click this icon and what happens is the Visual Basic editor opens up and initially when it opens up uh, you, you might see it like this where it has a project window here and it has a properties window here um, and it has a watches window down below. All these windows have a X next to them and you could close them. So I could close that watches window, um, I could close this properties window, and I could close this project explorer window. So now I'm left with just a blank gray screen here in the editor. And I just wanted to show you that because it's, it's customizable. You could add uh, windows to this or take them away. Um, so in this video we're going to cover the project explorer and I'm going to start with a blank editor like this and I want to add the project explorer so I'm going to click this little icon here and I could also press control R that pop-up says I could do control R or click this icon so just remember control R if you want a shortcut key so when you press that uh, icon what pops up is this project explorer and what that is is just in it's the window where objects are organized and where you can click on an object, if I click on this object, sheet one, this window opens up. And this is called the code window, and I'll cover that in another video. Um, but the main thing I want to show in this video is what is this Project Explorer? What are objects? Uh, what is this project, VBA project? What is all this stuff about? So the Project Explorer um, has projects in it. So Microsoft Excel. Uh, e equates every workbook with a project. So you see here I have uh, a workbook called the VBA environment.xlsx and it it made a project here and then it it has a little tree structure where you could tree into it if I click on this you have objects within that tree within that within that project I'm sorry and those objects are Microsoft Excel objects and Microsoft Excel objects are what you typically see. They're worksheets. So here's sheet one, here's sheet two, and sheet three. And they're also workbooks. And, and they have a object here called this workbook. And all these things are are places where you can write your code, your macro code. Um, when this, why does it say sheet one, sheet two, sheet three in this workbook? Well, by default, when you open a, a Microsoft Excel workbook, you automatically get three sheets and you automatically um, have a workbook open so that is why you see uh, three sheets here and a workbook because by default you have three sheets now if you had more than three sheets you would see ten sheets here or twenty however many sheets you have you're gonna see all the sheets here and if they're different names you're gonna see the name here um, and you're always gonna have one of this workbook and um, that is because you have a workbook open so you could write code here so what, what do I mean by that so if you double click on one of these now I'm in the code window so the code window will pop up and you could write your macros here like sub uh, macro 
uh, sheet one because I'm in the sheet one object here I'm in the sheet one object so I'll my macro sub sheet run macro uh, sub macro sheet one I'm sorry and I could write a macro here and I could do the same thing in sheet two um, and I could do the same thing in sheet three I could write macros anywhere I want so these are just places where you can write macros and I could do the same thing here in this workbook I could write the same thing sub this workbook I'm just doing this pretty quick but I just want to show you that all these things are all these objects are are places where you could double click and write some code that's it now if you have 20 sheets or 30 sheets or 15 sheets do you wanna be flipping through all those sheets trying to find the macro that you wrote no you don't so what most VBA what I would say 90 percent 95 percent of VBA developers do is they don't write their code like this where you have to click on a an object a sheet object and write your code instead what they do is write their code in modules so let's insert a module and we'll see where that goes okay so now we have a new tree structure before we just had Microsoft Excel objects but now we have these module uh, node in the tree and the module is the same exact thing it's just a place so I'm, I, I double click module one it's just a place where I could write uh, code I can write a macro right here and this is how VBA developers do it so they use modules they insert modules and they write their code in modules and why do they do that well it's just organizationally way better to write your code in modules because you can uh, I could rename this module um, and I'll show you how to do that in the video that covers the properties window so uh, you you could customize your your uh, project by by adding modules and then renaming the modules to specifically let's say I have a module for uh, a company macros and then another module for department macros or you could organize your your project that way that way it's very explicit what are what are these macros um, you can't really rename your sheets according to your macros but with modules you can and and that's why a lot of times VBA developers use it you could also um, in these projects so that's all I'm gonna say right now about uh, modules and sheet objects but just know that all they are is places you could write code and you could write you know not just one subroutine or macro you could put 15 macros in here 20 macros as much as you want um, so I also want to say that you can insert other things like a class module or a user form and I'll cover those in other videos but just know that basically you're just adding things to a project um, and right now I want to show you uh, when I originally said Microsoft Excel considers every micro Microsoft Excel workbook as a project I want to show you what I mean by that so if I open up another workbook you should see another project here so if I go to this same instance of Excel and I go to open and I open a, another workbook here I will I have this workbook called examples so now I have this examples workbook open so I have two workbooks open right I have this one called the VBA environment and the other one I just showed you is called examples so now if I click on the visual basic icon here well what do I have I have two projects I have my original project which is the VBA environment which is what I was showing you just recently with my three default sheets and this workbook and I could write code behind here like I said about VBA developers write their code in modules and you know that that's that's a project linked up to this VBA environment workbook but since I opened another Microsoft Excel workbook I have another project open and so when I tree into that look at I have all kinds of uh, sheets here I have eight sheets and you see that Microsoft Excel listed as sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3, sheet 4 up to sheet 8 and these are actually the names of the sheets so just compare compare this which is a default project sheet 1 is sheet 1 versus like a customized project that you would normally see uh, sheet one is actually named L2 loops 
Um, and then she too is actually named L6 find and, and things like that. So uh, I also have forms here. So when I said I could insert, I could insert a user form. Well, that's what I did here. And when I when you do that, you'll get another node here, uh, and, and you could have a form here. I also inserted modules here, and I did I did that by going here and I inserted a module. So here's my module in in this workbook. Uh, but notice that since I have the workbook open, I can access the project. And then I have a class module. So I have two workbooks open and I have two projects accessible to me. Um, and I could write code in, in either workbook. So that's what's pretty neat about the Project Explorer is that you could have 12, 15 workbooks open um, and you could be writing code in workbook number one here. Say I was writing code in this module. Uh, here I'm in a module in the example XLS workbook and I could write some code and then right away I could just double click on this module which is in this workbook and I could write more code um, so it's as easy as that uh, to to write code in modules or in sheets or and add it's as easy as that to add forms so I just want to show you what the project explorer is it's made of project and, and what is a project well it's a Microsoft Excel workbook and within that project you have objects they have they could be Microsoft Excel objects like this sheets or they could be other objects like forms or modules or class modules. Um, so that's what I wanted to show you in this video. And I just want to show you one more thing that if you want to uh, remove a module, so let me let me add a module here. So I'll double click on the, I'll click on this project and I'm going to add a module. And now I have two modules down here. But I just want to show you how to remove a module. So to do that, um, you just right click it and you go to remove module and it says do you want to export the module before you're moving and if you want to use this module in other places you can click yes and you could save it and and import it into other Excel uh, workbooks and, and macros but I don't want to export it so I'm going to say no so then I just remove the module so I just want to show you that in case in case you insert lots of modules and you, you, you want to ask well how do I get rid of them um, you do it like that so that's what this video was all about, the, uh, the Project Explorer. In the next video uh, in, about the Visual Basic Editor, I'll go into the Properties window and how to uh, and all the, all, the, all the things that that can do. So remember, here is the Project Explorer, and this is the Visual Basic Editor, and everything here in the Project Explorer is just areas where you can write code. Okay and you want to remember that you want to use modules you don't want to put your code behind sheets 99 percent of the time and also you can add other objects like forms and class modules and i'll get into those in other videos but that's it for this uh... that's it for this video i also want to remind you that if you want to download any of these uh, macro files go to excelvbasql.com and you can watch all these videos and download the files okay thanks Bye.